All right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. All right, greetings from the Capitol Beltway. Look at how FSD saw this construction sign, got into the left lane, and is now seeing the green light, making a left onto 495. And here we go. We're going to do a quick video on 495. So this is the Capitol Beltway. We're coming in from Tyson's Corner area heading into Maryland actually so yeah stay tuned we're gonna do a quick drive over the bridge here and I'm gonna show you how FSD handles everything hopefully fingers crossed and uh, hopefully we don't have to do any takeovers here so starting with this lane if you're familiar this goes right into George Washington Memorial but notice the car is already switching lanes very nice smooth job um, so now we're officially off of the exit lane, and we've got an exit coming up in 2.5 miles. So until then, we've got to basically, we're in Virginia, we got to cross over in Maryland and then take the exit. So here we go. The trucks, that FSD recognizes the trucks on the visualization. And oof, this truck is getting a little close to the right side, but I like how FSD recognize that and got to the right a little bit it's really cool how cars show up on the overlay on the map over here it's like it has both which is kind of awesome anyways this lane is gonna shoot off to an exit so we're in a good lane here we are we're officially on the bridge potomac river underneath us and uh we are entering into maryland officially just a second, we're still over the bridge here. You'll see the sign in just a second. And uh, yeah, we're, here we go. Welcome to Maryland. Officially DMV. This is why we call it the DMV because you're in all three within like a 15 minute drive. It is a nice day outside. You can see the of the cabin. See when I put the window up how much of a difference it makes. But it is a nice day out here. Hopefully it stays that way in the DMV because it can always change. It's always subject to change out here when it comes to weather. You can get 30 degree swings in one day. Really nice job with the driving. I mean no takeovers whatsoever. Um, I like the way it's doing the lane selection too. We do have a exit coming up here in 0.6 miles. So now that we're officially in Maryland, let's see how it takes the exit and proceeds with the drive. Hopefully it can handle it with no issues. And yeah, it has been. So notice right there, it put the indicator on and it's looking for its, its uh, footing basically here. Found a little spot opening and uh, it's now going to take the exit. Supposed to. And there we go. Indicator on. Flips right over into the right exit lane perfectly. And here we go, taking the exit with ease. This is a little tight exit. Splits off into two. Let's see how it does. We need to go to the right. So let's see. Sometimes, you know, FSD can mess up. We're not 100% there yet. Hardware 4 is a lot better, but even that still has its flaws, you know, so here we go with the right, nonetheless, flawless, um, but the key is to be ready, you know, and that's one thing I like to preach, is just no matter what, don't get too complacent, observe, but the word is actually supervise, that, that's your job, supervise. Alright, here we go, so... Really nice job overall with 495. Um, you can see how it handled the highway. No touches, got me on and off the highway. I did all the lane weaving very safely, calmly, without any kind of, um, you know, getting too close to cars or anything like that. I think it did it all very naturally and uh, I'm very satisfied with the driving. Um, highly recommend doing a demo drive. This is something I think all people should just try and see what it's like. And Tesla allows you to do it for free. Uh-oh. Pay attention. And 
all you got to do is do a demo drive. Um, download the Tesla app if you haven't already and uh, find your local station, set up a time, and just take it out for a spin and test out FSD in every possible scenario you can think of. Um, if you already have a Tesla, subscribe for a month. See what it's like if you haven't. You know, I think they actually give it to you for a couple months when you first get the car, so let me know. Comment below on that. And yeah, overall, just really smooth driving experience here. Um, I actually did see a few new, brand new model Ys on, on the road in uh, the DMV. I saw two in Virginia already, one in Arlington in the Quicksilver color. And then one in Sterling, actually, in white. So shout out to those new owners that just got their brand new Model Y Junipers or whatever you want to call it. Really, honestly, I think I want that car as my next car. It is a sweet looking car and it's pretty much got everything in there. I think it's the right size. Um, that light bar, the, oof, it just looks so good. I'm a fan. You know, it's interesting when Tesla puts out a design, it actually is, a. Uh, you know, they, they don't ever show you ahead of time. So when you see it, your brain processes it and it, you know, it lasts for like six to seven years until they change it. So think about the Cybertruck and, you know, just imagine, you know, if they do refresh it one day. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's an interesting design. It's really ambitious to put something like that out there. Um, and if you have trucking needs, that is the truck that you want. No question about it. That is That thing is a beast. Um, they make a cyber beast for a reason. But all in all, I'm a really big fan of the Model Y. And I uh, love that light bar. <laughs> uh, the front is a... The front trunk frunk is a cooler now. So smart. On hot summer days, you can just fill it up with ice, leave drinks in there, and then it drains out on its own. That's like that's like having like a fridge pretty much in the car. That's awesome. I would use that all the time. But yeah, um, hopefully we can see new variants of the Model Y here soon. That would be great. I'm interested in probably like the long range version all-wheel drive yeah the only reason I'm not the biggest fan of the performance is because of the tires I have a buddy who bought it and has gone through like three tires already in less than two years and I'm surprised about that so that kind of deterred me I really am a big fan of those Michelin tires though and uh but I do, I thought about it, you know, I, I prefer the long range because I use FSD a lot. And uh, once I saw what's up with those tires, then I really became a fan. <laughs> those Continental tires are really good, actually, if you ask me. Um, I actually never really heard of them until Tesla, but I noticed now all Teslas have Continental tires and they're really good. So yeah, shout out to Continental and Tesla for partnering with them and providing, you know, a really good tire on the Tesla. It's kind of like if you go back in the day and look at Henry Ford and uh, Michelin, this is, you know, kind of like what they did back in the day. But yeah, I'm going to end on that note. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was a super fun one to shoot. No stops, no takeovers, nothing. And, uh, comment below let me know what you think hit that like button if you enjoyed this subscribe for more videos in the dmv area thanks again for watching and have a great day